pretty clean. Pretty clean. It's elegant. No, no. Did you notice the flesh on the right. clam? Now we're hunting in a fossil shell deposit and this clam has flesh on it, so I'm thinking to myself, ah, this crawled in and died a couple of weeks ago. It yes. says, don't you know what clam that is? Uh-oh. She knows fossils a lot better than I do for ID. Milthia calusiensis. So I'm rolling my eyes around. This is an index uh, fossil to the Pliocene. Now, for an evolutionist, an index fossil is a, is a fossil that lived at a certain time in the past. Yes. For a creationist, it lived at a certain place in the past. <laughs> right. Okay. But can, for, we, can we just yeah, emphasize this business yeah. about index fossils, though, please? Because, yeah. you know, when, when people say, oh, the fossils have been dated by such, they haven't used carbon dates and radiometric yeah. dates. They're using this index system, aren't they? Right. Uh -huh. And so they've arranged in their minds fossils in certain stages of evolution yes. and then use that to, to date and then say that confirms evolution mm. which was used to what assume the dating <laughs> in the sequence to start with and uh, so here they kind of so trap themselves because yeah. here's this clam they think the evolutionists think that's two to five million years old but it's got some meat on it so I, we take it up to the state museum now I really thought I've gotten forgiveness for this and married misidentified it but she takes it in the back room and scientist looks at it, you're right, this is Milthia calusiensis. it's an index to Pliocene fossils that ought to be two million years old, maybe five million years old, you're right, it's still got some of the flesh on it, you're right, these things are a real mystery. And he pulled out a drawer full of them. That's well, where were they? In the wow. back room, yeah, not on public not display, the only one. not the only one.